Alright, what is going on everybody and today I'm here with a very very highly requested video and it is going to be the blindfold trade challenge finder video so at the start of the first two seasons whatever players I have I have to put them up on the trade finder and then I close my eyes and I go through uh, all the offers at once I stop it and whatever trade I get on that is the trade I have to do I you don't see my face cam in the video because I it would have uh, covered up the trade finder but I will be doing the same thing like I just said. And let's see if this video can get over 800 likes. And let me know in the comments what other challenge videos to do next. That's going to be from now. And I'll see you guys in the video. Guys, right, so the way I'm selecting my team is I'm just going to randomly do this like I will for the trade finder part of this. So I'm just going to open my eyes and stop doing it in 3, 2, 1. And we get the Dallas Mavericks, one of the worst teams in the NBA this year. So this will be interesting. So as I stated in the beginning of the video... I will be doing this every, for the first two years, I will be doing this at the start of the year for pretty much every relevant player. So Dirk has a no trade clause, so I can't do it with him. Or maybe I'll take his no trade clause off, but I don't know about that. Uh, so Barnes is the first one. We're going to throw him up on the block, and we're just going to go through the trades and see how many there are and see if we're going to be completing a trade or see what trade we might get. A great trade, we might get a terrible trade. Like a sour dumb trade would be nice at this point. We have 13 offers. Yeah, and I'm going to start spinning them now, and I'm going to stop spinning it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we get Marvin Williams, oh, and Spencer Hawes. Damn, that is, that is rough. That is a terrible trade for us. Okay, uh, so that's the first one. Now I'm just going to throw up two point guards in JJ Barrera and Darren Williams and see what I can get for these two pretty old point guards, 32-year-old point guards. Uh, we got 12 offers. I saw some decent trades, so I'm going to stop spinning. Spinning the trade finder in three, two, one. And we get Jonas Valanciunas. Jonas Valanciunas. This trade actually worked out, I think, in our favor. Okay. We get Jonas Valanciunas on the team. I will take it. So, uh, next one is Wesley Matthews is going to be traded. And then we'll do Bogut Powell, and that'll be it for the first season. So, I can do whatever I want in the offseason. It's just at the start of next year, I'm also going to have to do this. So, let's see. I'm going to stop spinning this in five, four, three. Two, one. DeMontis, Sabonis, and Kyle Singler. Like, we're clearing up cap space here, which is nice, but Kyle Singler is, like, one of the worst players in the NBA. So that doesn't really help. But it was, I, I think that was a win for us. So let's just do Bogut and Powell as the last ones. See what we can get for these two guys. I We got 13 offers. I'm going to close my eyes now, and I'm going to stop spinning it in three, two, one. Nikola Pekovic and Shabazz Muhammad. Ugh. Yuck, that is definitely a fail or a loss for us. So this is the team for our season number one. It's Devin Harris, Seth Curry, Shabazz Muhammad, Dirk, and Valentinus. Our front quarter is the only like bright spot of this team. And I we're going to pretty much hopefully get the first overall pick in the draft. Uh, we do have our pick, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. All right, guys, so the MVP of the first season is Russell Westbrook. Average a triple-double. I'm like in the 11, so it wasn't like 10.1. 11.1 assists, that's just insane. Simmons rookie of the year, Knight. Drummond, Russell, and Terry Stotts, coach of the year. So, we go 26-56. Was this the worst record in the NBA? Uh, yes, so, okay, tie with the Magic. Hopefully, we should have the number one projected odds, but we'll see what they say. Dirk, 20 points. I kind of wish he was making a little bit less money. Valentinus, uh, 14 and 10, and everybody else is pretty much going to be gone at the end of the year. I got to trade everybody else next year anyway, so whoever I sign in this offseason is kind of pointless, but I'm going to try to sign some studs, so maybe I could trade those studs for some studs and get some studs, studs everywhere. But the Rockets, what? They win it all in season number one. I've never seen that. They beat the Warriors in seven, then they beat the Blazers in seven, and then they beat the Cavs in seven. So a uh, Cinderella run for the Rockets, it looks like. As we're going to go to the draft, please tell me we have the number one pick. Oh, and whoever I have to, whoever I drift, I have to trade. That's gonna suck. So I'll see you guys. Um, ever signed with who I took, and I'm probably gonna trade Pekovic and Marvin Williams and Kyle Singer as well. Right, guys, so we do have this Maladin Olick guy, and then we did draft Harry Giles with the third overall pick. So team bar options. Uh, I'll bring back Majiri because he's only making a mill. Delon Wright, I'll bring back Hawes. He accepts his player deal, but I'm gonna trade it anyway just to clear up more cap space for free agency. Uh. Please tell me I can trade him for like a future second or like a first round pick. Perfect Sixers. Uh, so the Sixers are always the the boys and they always hook you up with those nice salary dumb trades. So qualifying offer Shabazz Muhammad will offer you a deal, my free agents. Uh, yeah, there's nobody I want to bring back. Uh, so here we go, free agency. Kevin Durant is here. I would like to see some offers I would get for Kevin Durant. So let's offer him a deal and we're not even in his top three, okay? What about Steph Curry? Uh, that's the max if we give him a no trade clause. Ooh, here's number one offer. 
Um, that is nice. So let's see. Can we get Steph Curry on the team? Let's go. Oh, wait. I think I accidentally gave Steph a no trade clause. All right. I'm just going to take it off anyways for next year uh, to make it more interesting and see what we'll get for him. So I'm just going to sign one more guy, and I'll see you guys this start next year where we got to pretty much trade everybody on our team again. Great. All right, guys. So the first offer here is going to be for Steph Curry. Let's see, we have nine offers. One for Giannis and Chris Middleton. One for Jason Tatum and Al Horford. Chris Bosh and Winslow. Kemba and Batum. Hayward and Hood, which isn't bad. Russell and Pope. I think that would be a clutch one to get. Or Paul George. All right, come on. Just whatever. I don't want this Raptors trade or the He trade. That would suck. All right, so let's simulate this or let's just fast forward it. I'm going to stop spinning open my eyes in five, four, three, Two, one. I don't know what we got yet. I'm not going to open my eyes. Please tell me it's not the heat trade. Oh, it's the Raptors trade. That was pretty much the second worst one I didn't want. Damn. If we want one more, we could have gotten Giannis. We want one back. We could have had Paul George. Damn it. All right, all right, fine. So, Josh Jackson, you're pretty much the franchise player now. So, the next person we are moving, I believe, is going to be Jonas Valanciunas. So, let's see what we can get. What offers are we going to be getting for him on the team? Uh... So, Middleton, okay, we got 23 offers, so let's just go through this. I'm going to stop spinning and open my eyes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Michael could go Chris. It's not bad. He's making 13 mil a year, which is an awful, but now we just got two good small forwards on the team. So, that really didn't help. So, I'm pretty much just going to do CJ Miles and Harry Giles, and that'll be it. So, Harry Giles, let's see what we can get. We can get a nice offer for you. So, please, just give me something good. All right, so I'm going to spin this. I'm going to stop spinning and open my eyes in 5, 4, 3, Two, one. What did we get? Reggie Cummings. I think this is the worst trade. Oh my god, we could have had Andre Drummond or Marcus Aldridge, CJ McCollum, Oka Ford, Jabari Parker, but instead we have Reggie Cummings, another small forward. Great. And I gotta rebuild this team to win a championship next year. All right, so the last one is CJ Miles. I will also throw in a future first round pick for CJ Miles. See if that could help out anything and make these more interesting. So. We have 13 offers. All right, I'm going to start spinning it. I'm going to stop it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think when I was spinning, I saw Miles Turner. I'm going to open my eyes. Please tell me we have Miles Turner. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, God. That was the worst possible trade I think that could have happened. This team is going to be terrible. We should have another top five projected pick. Yeah, that's the team. You're gonna. That's going to be for me now, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. And hopefully, honestly, if we don't make the playoffs, hopefully then we get like a top five pick in the draft. So end of season two, guys. We did a lot better than I thought. Harry Giles goes on to win Rookie of the Year, of course. But we went 48-34. and 34. Let's see if any Mavs are on here. Don't tell me. Or don't ask me how. I couldn't tell you. Any rookies? Uh, Josh Jackson probably bowled out. Oh, only 11-5. and five. Hmm. How did we do this good? Reggie Cummings, 7-3. and three. Like, we were a two-seed? What? Why was it all messed up this year? That's weird. But... Dirt dropped 14. I don't know. Please tell me the scoring wasn't down. Uh, was it? No, it wasn't. Okay, good. Uh, but damn, I don't know how we did this good. I'm starting to think we're going to get bounced in the first round, possibly, or we have a shot to. Oh, uh, and the Kings beat us in seven. I knew we were going to bounce in the first round. That regular season was a fluke, I guess. Oh, that sucks. All right, so the Jazz, the eight-seeded Jazz beat the Warriors in the first round. What is up with this NBA season? This one was a weird one. I think that was, like, one of the weirdest seasons I've ever seen. And the they went to the Western Conference Finals. I think the Thunder won it all. So let's go here. I can actually finally make moves, and I can keep these players for the rest of the video. So I'm going to throw up George Hill, Kid Gilgris on the block. We have the 25th pick in the draft. I'll make some moves, and I'll see you guys with my first move in this offseason. Okay, guys, we're going to get a nice shooting guard with the Shaver Chain, Kid Gilgris, George Hill, and two first-round picks. First, CJ McCollum and Maurice Harkless. So uh, we have our shooting guard down. We have our sixth or seventh man down in Cummings. I just got to trade Harkless now because Jackson's going to start at small forward for us. I can get Jeff Teague, JJ Redick, Gobert. See, like, I would do those, but I want to test out my luck in free agency. Doug McDermott. Uh, welcome to the team. You could be a nice bench player. So I don't have any picks. So I'm just going to see my two team player options. See what we'll do there. So Anderson, I'll bring back. So bonus, why not? DeLon Wright, no. Zipser, why not? Okay. So please tell me I'm going to have enough money to sign a big name free agent. Uh, nobody there. Okay. Dirk is expiring. Okay. I can give Dirk a nice three mil year contract for two years. Dirk, would you accept that? Because that might mean we can get it for two more years. All right, so I could sign two max deals, it looks like. So 
Paul George, like, it's Paul George. I'm obviously going to try to get him. Uh, and I'm going to try to get Isaiah Thomas as well. He'd be a starting point guard. Him and McCollum would be a very nice backcourt. Uh, let's give him 26.8 mil. Okay. We are his number one offer. That is nice. And we might need a center. So, DeAndre Jordan. And if we can't get him, I would like to get him B, but they're going to match his deal anyway. So, Noel could be a nice backup option. Or, I could sign Marcus Aldridge or Derek Favors and then trade one of them for a starting center. So, uh, let me just offer Favors a deal, and that's my last one. So, let's see my today here. What did we get? Isaiah Thomas. Uh, Dirk? Wow, Dirk. That's messed up. That is messed up, Dirk. He accepts another offer to the Grizzlies. Are you kidding me? Dirk, what are you doing, dude? Alright, let's offer Aldridge a deal still. Uh, damn, okay, I was going to wait for Paul George, but we don't get him. Can we sign? Oh, we can't sign DeAndre Jordan. I'd rather get Aldridge than Noel, and I think Jordan went to the, uh, the Jazz. Alright, so we get Aldridge. That is nice. Uh, can we get Melo on a cheap deal? Nope. Okay, so I'm just going to sign a couple of old people. I'm really upset we didn't get uh, Dirk. And yeah, so that's going to be from now, guys. I don't even know where he's... Wait, where did he sign? Uh, I'm A part of me thinks he signed with the Warriors, but I don't think he did. Uh, where is Dirk? Dirk, Dirk, Dirk. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki signed with the Grizzlies. Why? Okay. I'll see you guys at the start of next year where I'm going to probably have to make a couple moves for this team. Marcus Aldridge and a future first round pick for, to a Knicks pick that has a lot more value and DeAndre Jordan in return. So DeAndre Jordan was once a Dallas Maverick for like technically like a week or something like that. But then he opted like he was allowed to go back to the Clippers. So he did that. And that had a lot of controversy controversy that was in i think like 2013 or something like that so i'm gonna see if i can use that Knicks pick to get a good power forward if i could throw up mcdermott and that pick could i get like a power forward possibly near 80 overall luka turk howie green uh no larry Nance jr okay i might do that trade all right so let's get larry Nance jr on the team and i think that's gonna be the last move i make uh, we also get a first round pick, so let's see this team. I don't think it'll win a championship, but we can contend in the West. It's Thomas, McCollum, Jackson, Larry Nance, DeAndre Jordan. We have Cummings, Sabonis, Justin Anderson, and Mike Scott, and AJ Hammonds coming off the bench. So that's going to be for me now, guys, and I'll see you guys at the end of the third season. Hopefully, we can maybe win a championship. All right, guys, so LeBron James does take home MVP in season number two. Three, this is now. A guy named Matt Daniel gives rookie of the year. George Hill, sixth man of the year. He was on our team at one point. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, defensive player of the year. Most improved, Ronda House, Jefferson, and Tom Thibodeau, our coach, gets coach of the year. All right, that's cool. Uh, any Mavericks here? There's Ben Simmons. No Mavs. Uh, wow, no Mavericks. Okay. So, we go 65-17. and 17. Was that the best record, I think, in the NBA? Yep, by three games. We did really well with our backcourt, honestly. But Coleman and Thomas led the way. They were really good together. I don't get how Cummings had more points off the bench than Josh Jackson, but... Okay, DeAndre Jordan did the rebounding and the defensive, well, not really the amazing defender, but he's a solid, uh, 10 and 11 and a half, Larry Nance Jr., is he a free agent, uh, because I'd like to, oh, uh, yeah, he would be, so if we don't win at all, that's gonna be a tricky situation in the offseason, so let me just make sure, uh, like, I'm handing out more minutes, uh, we're gonna go nine-man rotation, uh, so bonus, you can get 17, Cummings, you can get 25, all right, Jackson, or Nance, you can get 32, Jordan, you can get 35, uh, I'm gonna call him 35, and I'll just give him to the bench once again. All right, so round one against the Jazz. Let's see who's on the Jazz. I feel like they signed somebody recently, but I don't know who. Uh, maybe they didn't. Okay, so that's their team. They have Ron Bolton, the shooting guard, 11 points a game. They have Hayward and Hood that are pretty much leading that team, and then they have Gay off the bench. We should get past them, but they did make it to the Western Conference Finals last year, so anything could happen. But we do sweep them like we should have, or like we were supposed to. Thunder, they got Westbrook, obviously, Steven Adams, Enos Kanter, Old Depot. They pretty much got the team the same, but they have our boy, Wilson Matthews. Uh, so I think we should get past them just fine, and we do sweep them. So take it on the Warriors. Still got the big four. Oh, no, Curry is not on their team. Never mind. Uh, we had Curry at one point, and we traded him to, I think, the Raptors? I'm not sure. Some team like that. Um, I can actually check right here. Yep, it was the Raptors. So let's see. Can we get past KD? Clay and Draymond. Yes, we can. We win in six, and now we're taking on the Raptors who have Curry and DeRozan. 
Ah, uh, Curry, you were on our team at one point, and we win game one by 29. McCollum drops 26. We're up 2-0. We're up 3 0. Let's go. Okay, it looks like we're about to win a finals here. I'll hop in the game if we can. And it looks like we're going to win it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll hop in the game. I'll see you guys in the game when we're about to win an NBA championship in season number three. Right, so, here's the team. Um, McCollum's playing point guard for some reason. Um, we got Reggie Cummings out there, everyone's favorite rookie. Josh Jackson, he had 20 in this game. Uh, there's Iron Edge Jr. McCollum's got 29. What does Jordan have? Ah, uh, that was dumb. Okay, 7 and 12. All right, McCollum really just balled out into a superstar in this video, which is really cool to see. Uh, yeah, him, I think he's going to get finals MVP. It could be Isaiah Thomas, but you never know. John J. Jordan is really tired. Curry uh, steps back, misses the jumper. Give it up. Ooh, no backcourt. Josh Jackson for three. Uh, kick it to McCollum. And I turn it over. Nice. I kind of want to get Isaiah Thomas in the game to see the starting lineup. Uh, I'd rather the starters go in. Come on. Myron Nation with the block. Let's go. Kick it up court. Uh, Reggie Cummings. Reggie Cummings. Out to McCollum. For three. Bang. Perfect release. That is what. He's got 32. As we're about to sweep the Toronto Raptors, it looks like. So that is cool. Is this JJ Barea too? Another former player. And here we go. Can I throw it off the backboard? Ah, Reggie Cummings. There we go. That is filthy. All right. So it looks like we're going to be picking up the victory. I'll see you guys at uh, the finals or whatever the screen. And we're going to see who's going to win finals MVP. Curry knocks down that three. All right. Actually, let's get one more possession in here. And then I'll see you guys. I, I just want to, you know what? Okay, Curry, I'll match you with the McCollum three. Let's get a pick. Oh, okay. I didn't know the pick was on this side. And Jordan gave me the dumbest pick ever. All right. That, if that goes in. Oh, okay. Oh, Jordan with the board and Curry's face. Oh, okay. So that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys who with who won finals MVP for us. Finals MVP is going to go to Isaiah Thomas, who averaged 27 and about 10. So he, okay. I guess he deserves it. So that's going to be for me now, guys. I'm actually surprised this team won a finals. That's actually pretty cool uh, with Jordan Thomas, an 89, 87, an 86, and an 85. So yeah, that's going to be for me. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's see if this video can get over 800 likes. And like always, let me know in the comments what other challenge videos to do next. That's going to be, for, for, be it for me now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.